Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be trying out something a little, uh, a little combo-y. So this is my Jeskai Lumbering Battlement combo deck, uh, basically through a combination of either Mirror Image, multiple Lumbering Battlements, you can stack infinite triggers uh, to deal either infinite damage through something like Vyashino Pyromancer or Goblin Chain Whirler, uh, draw infinite cards with Sky Scanner, uh, make infinite treasure tokens, uh, infinite mill, infinite life, uh, just kind of like fun stuff like that. I uh, tried out two Mirror March in the deck and they've actually been not terrible. Um, we just got to Platinum level 4. We finally got a gold rank in ranked and I need a break from playing Esper Mirrors all day. Although fun, it's takes a lot out of you so I've been playing this while we're still kind of low and I've actually been getting some wins with the deck no one really expects it coming uh, we have like disruption in the form of chain whirler deputy of detention um, and then we can use mirror image in a pinch to just copy some of these effects we also have justify sires portal to blink our creatures and then there's always just the make a big battlement and throw it at the opponent um, so we'll take this through a couple rounds um, like I said, I'm at Platinum 4, so really nowhere to go down, and it gives us a break from Esper, so we'll play this out. And as we get started, if you haven't done so already, uh, if you enjoy the content on the channel and you want to show your support, the little subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner, if you could just click that, it's a free and easy way to show your support. It'd be greatly appreciated if you can. So this hand goes nowhere but if we could draw land then we can ramp I think we keep it we're worse against aggro and we also can't play chain whirler on three opponent does mulligan and of course mono red is very bad for us okay sulfur falls there is good so we probably should have played the Sulphur Falls first, because we could have technically gone into Chain Whirler. But this guarantees that we have all our lands come into play tapped, so this looks like a Rakdos variant. Interesting that the opponent would decide to shock themselves in here. Uh, we'll just play that out. Might get the opponent to commit to not playing more to the board. We can use uh, Sailor Means as a blocker. It makes a treasure token. Opponent's also not on that fast of a start. So we'll play out Sailor. So here, opponent might feel So I'm actually okay here if they want to use the Firebrand and a Burn spell on Sailor Means. Or just use it in conjunction with Chain Whirler. It gets a creature off, saves us 4 damage. And at this point we're really just trying to ramp up. Firing Cleric's actually pretty good there. So this just gives us a buffer. Do you need to make the decision? Okay, so they do the Skewer of the Critics. It effectively gained us 6 life. So we can double spell here. So let's chain whirler. And then mirror image the chain whirler. And then we can wipe our opponent's board that way. Well, we could keep the chain whirler alive, but it gets rid of it like that. Uh, 
our life total is not too bad for it being this late in the game. Uh, which one is the mirror image? Copy of Chain Whirler. Uh, so... Rather block like that. Keep the Chain Whirler alive. Or the copy. Uh, so here... Go sailor means first. Should have probably attacked first. Draw a card and the next turn we'll look to set up a battle mint. We can battle mint with these two. opponent doesn't really have profitable attacks unless they have a burn spell and if they want to waste it on that I'm fine with it. Uh, so we need to decide if we want to go one more turn before or just use a big battlement. I think with the opponent stumbling uh, we need to decide Yeah, let's just go battlement. Uh, so here, just attack with the one. We're keeping the mirror image back. It's a good blocker in this case. Just play out our lands. So now we're really looking for a thud, a blink effect, something of that nature. So opponent plays a full price. Light up the stage. So they have to decide if they want a lightning strike or mirror image or go for the face. Okay, so they go for the attack there. We'll see if... So other battlements are actually really good here. So we can get some value off it this way. And then we're basically one away from infinite tokens and effectively infinite card draw. Play this out, draw another card. When you get three of them, you basically loop them in a chain. So opponent's just going for the face. We need to start applying some more pressure. Legion War Boss doesn't do too much. Let's see how they attack in. If they block. So we are flooding out quite a bit, considering we've drawn about four extra cards. My opponent concedes. <laughs> So taking down Rakdos Agro. This deck somehow wins. I don't know how. It's like it's quite funny. In this deck you can just throw in like all these random cards. Like I haven't been playing Platinum too much at this point, so I don't really know what the meta is shaping. I was basically just playing either mono white, mono red, or esper in uh, gold rank. So this hand's really slow. These are basically all dead cards, so I'm going to mulligan. Okay, so at least it gives us something to start off with. Deputy's a good draw there. If we're dealing with like creatures or even an Escanta can help. Let's see what the opponent's up to. Okay, so Esper Control. So this is probably going to be a harder matchup. Getting rid of an Escanta is good, including a Thought Erasure. Uh, so here... Just play it out and pass the turn. We don't really have much pressure, which is going to be bad against Esper. Or is this just blue-white? 
No, it's Esper. They have the thought erasure. Uh, just past the turn. There was a p point where we played Deputy on turn 3, but it's really no value. I want to use the portal as like a protection spell. This can get rid of a Planeswalker too in a pinch. Uh, so here... Nah. Let's see what they get rid of. Probably this. Thought they could kill in response. This is kind of like a protection spell. Chain Whirler at least presents a clock, but they probably have Absorb Man up. We just gotta start running these things out. Yeah, so they have the Absorb. Deputy is basically here to try to catch a Planeswalker. If they play Teferi, then we're in trouble. Just keep playing out land drops. I don't know if we can actually beat Esper. Or at least with this start. See if they view this as a threat. It's effectively a cycle card. Okay, well, if they're wasting absorbs, these decks usually only play two to three absorb sorry, three to four absorbs. And then one negate, at least that's what I run in my version. Um them playing Duress main board is probably... Wow, why are you using Mortify on this? This does absolutely nothing. Like, you've seen Deputy. Like, I, I understand being mana conscious, but it doesn't make much sense. So, it signifies to me that the opponent didn't have a land. Alright, 27 turn clock. Sorry, 26. We can throw Thud at them. This looks like a more spell heavy build. This might be Acuity actually. Let's probably take Deputy here. If they take Thud, it'd be hilarious. Come on. They took Thud. Don't know how they're playing out this game. Uh, at this point, I'm going to hold back the land. It might incentivize them to play another like discard. Even here, whether or not Chemister is inciting. Trying way too many lands. So for the new set, uh, the f I can't pronounce its name. The two mana mono blue legendary when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Might play that instead of the sky scanner. Yeah. So you see, doing that, opponents wasted a duress. Their esper version looks more suited for the mirror. So, triples our clock without much commitment. Okay, so it's three absorbs now that they've wasted. Probably should have played out the land. And of Raska's Contempt on Sailor means... Too aggressive with your removal. You're on a one turn clock at 29 life. So they insight here, getting rid of a land. Like we still have our first answer to a planeswalker. So we're gonna hold off. Ideally we wanna play this, get catch a planeswalker when they try to kill it, flash it, get the planeswalker back into play in the next salad again. Okay, 
Okay, so there's the Teferi. Sorry I'm late. Let's skip to the good part. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're one short of doing that. So let's go with the deputy here. And just protect ourselves. So the insights. And revitalize. There are 26 cards. So they've drawn through a good chunk of their deck. They shock here. So they will get to ferry back momentarily, but then we get priority again to steal it. Okay, that's fine. If you're gonna waste that much effort. So they've played four absorbs. We need to move quickly. Hoping to get another creature to play in addition to this. At least get some value if they kill the battlement. Or more lands. That works. Just all the lands. We'll see if they could keep our, us checked for a couple turns with the Teferi out, then we'll just concede. This game's gone very slow for us. Okay, so they mortify. So we'll give it one more turn. If we don't draw something meaningful, then Esper's got us. This is probably a tough matchup, especially if they're playing this much uh, counter magic. Keep up the pace. I'm trying to ferry. I'm trying to keep up the pace. So opponent's just going nuts, drawing all the cards. They're at 19. Okay, so Chain Whirler keeps it a turn off ultimate at least. Stop that. Now. Really the best we can do is just trying to hold it off long enough. Like, okay, so there's another Mortify. Like, they have the win condition effectively in tucking to fairy. And uh, I'd have to imagine some of these cards in hand are other to fairies. They've seen major two thirds of their deck. Maybe catch them with milling a to fairy. Tell me you're going to counter this. Three to fairies. Three to fairies. <laughs> Three Kaya's Wrath? Okay. So they're at seven. We need something like Chain Whirler or Land. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might just be sample bias because the opponent's drawn so much. So they got the alt off this turn. So they cleansing Nova. So they can play the like the Alt Safari like we Well, they're gonna alt and start targeting our lands, so might as well start playing them out. They're down to eight cards. There's also a non-zero chance they don't know how to actually pull this off.
Like the, they still have to show a way to win. If they don't know how to do Teferi Tuck, we're fine. So our mana is pretty well distributed. That they can't take us off one color. Okay, so second to fairies here. I'm gonna draw. We hit both our walls, so I don't think we can catch him with the wall plan. What was that? Might take me off like white, probably first. All right, what you got? So this version is just straight. They haven't shown Kaya either. So they're taking me off blue mana, which is probably my lightest splash. Search. Uh, that doesn't do anything. So I'm going to hold off with the Hallowed Fountain. Like, you get a Scanta. It's fine. So take us off blue. We'll hold this just in a pinch if we need the blue mana, but we also have the treasure. Let's see what they decide to do this turn. Okay, so they know that's a fairy tuck. Oh, I wish we had another Wall of Lost Thoughts. Oh, they have another Teferi. Let's see what we draw this turn. If not, we'll concede. So they got three cards, Teferi's the next one, they draw a card for turn, they draw the other Teferi, they tuck this one. They've shown it, we'll give it to them. That was just kind of a hopeless from the start, the hand wasn't that good. We'll try it one more, see how it goes. Kind of burnt out from Esper, ranking up and with War of the Spark kind of limited in the amount of new brews you can come up with. All the excitements there. We'll keep this in. We're one line from really getting a lot of card draw going. We are better suited against creature decks. Uh, looks like Esper. Ho oh. ho! Teferi and Kaya on the first flip. I'll take that. Here I just want to draw cards. So it's good to know that we're seeing a lot more Esper. I need to tune my deck probably more. My deck's more focused, like I have Moment of Craving, some other cards for aggro matchup. But if we're seeing a lot more of this, then... Yep. So, let's tack in. So, if this resolves, it's fine. Even if they Kai's Wrath, we just get to draw some cards. They've effectively replaced themselves. Okay, so the moments of craving kind of signifies to me that they don't have the board wipe. Uh, so here...
In the event they have syncopate, I'll lead off with the sky scanner. And just play out the wall of lost thoughts. Get rid of the thought erasures. So the best is if we could dodge a turn of Kaya's Wrath. Nope. That might be Teferi to hold up. It's not bad at all. Uh, so here... That's moment, uh, inspiring cleric. Puts more power on the board. I'm gonna hold off with the sailor. If they do targeted removal, I'll blink it. Just to keep pressure up. Getting rid of Kai is actually really good. Most of these only play one Kaya. Sailor also presents an option. Okay, so they search here. Fail to find off search is good. I might decide to blink with Wall of Lost Thoughts though. If they hit all lands there. Another wall. See what opponent does here. Mortify Kai's wrath. Oh yeah. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. So our alternative cast wall of thoughts. Uh so here we need to decide, and I think it is right just to protect it. It wastes their mana, or at least taxes them out of a counter spell. Yeah, so. Gains their life back up, but we're either going to take over or not, but at least that puts pressure on them. It wasted a counter spell as well. We hit both their Kayas. They do still have three Teferis left. We need a lumbering battlement. Ooh, mirror march. Does it resolve? Probably not. I'm guessing not. Mortify. Come on, Esper. Okay. Step one. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so they mortify here. One less spell, but they can uh, scan. Uh, see what they find. Unmoored ego, sure. What are you naming? Mirror March, sure. You get one more. Opponent's probably wondering what the hell we're playing.
So there you go, masterminds here. See what they get off it. Come on, opponent. If they drop like a Lyra or Chromium, and if we don't hit a things, like Battlement would be the best here. Judas Sapphire's portals, not bad. Just pass turn. Worst case, we just mill them four more. Okay, so Lyra try to close out the game pretty fast. Don't really have ways to interact with that, and with this can't open, pretty much got us. Guys, it's very bad. So we can beat creature decks, we can't beat Esper. Player to fairy, that's fine. I won't hide from the world. Any hold that thought. Come on, lumbering battlement. Lumbering battlement. Lumbering battlement, blink lumbering battlement, and then sack lumbering battlement. Ooh, deputy. Does it resolve? Ah, he's got the absorb. Okay, getting close. Uh, we should probably have attacked the fairy. That was a mistake. My mistake. I don't think we're winning this, but... Lumbering Battlement's pretty much our only way. Ah, they got an absorb, so... We're just gonna concede this for our own sanity. So you saw a bit of what the deck can do. Obviously, there's some inconsistency, and we are playing in a competitive, like, mid-rank. But it's a fun deck. It does break up the day-to-day. -day. Uh, so if you do enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe, and especially, thanks for watching.